Hey everyone, I'm Larry the Bush. Sure. I'm in my truck. Um, I just met up with my ex to hand over Grace so that she can have Thanksgiving with her family. Happy Thanksgiving to you and uh, to all my friends and uh, viewers, and a happy Columbus Day for my American viewers and friends. And whatever holiday you're celebrating today, even if it's your birthday, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. Um, so I just did, I just went, I don't know if you can see, oh, this mic is gonna be a problem. Don't know if you noticed, but there is a fruit stand. So I just bought some Royal Gala apples and some peaches. So I just dropped Grace off. Um, Aaron and the boys are at home. I'm gonna go to the Y, I'm gonna put 15K in. Uh, I'm really stoked, I'm in the Niagara International Marathon in a couple weeks, and our goal, I have a friend of mine who just ran Syracuse in four hours and 37 minutes, I think he said. We're gonna set the lofty goal of as close to 4.30 as possible. My personal best at a marathon is 5.04 in Mississauga this year. So we're gonna see what happens. And uh, I'm gonna go why? So I just left the Grimsby YMCA and I did 10 miles in a hair over an hour and 40 minutes. And I'm pretty proud of that because I'm still not a small guy. I will be, I will be. Project 180 is a non... And I'm someplace rather unique within the Hamilton Niagara area. I'm in an area that's called the Woodlot. This used to be farmland and then it was abandoned as farmland and forest was allowed to grow here again. If you were to go straight that way, you hit Livingston, Ro Livingston Road in Grimsby. If you go straight that way, you hit Barton Street in Hamilton. Hamilton, want to unite the two roads. Um, you, go, you go that way, like 100 feet, you have the service road. You go that way, 200 feet, you have Highway 8. So a connection is already made. But you have planners that want urban sprawl, they want houses and McMansions and tight urban facilities all over the place. This is really unique. I'm I'm really this this I'm I'm really sad that this is my first time here. It's quiet. It's beautiful. I'm like I'm 14 minutes from home. And look at this. You have a unique opportunity. Maybe put a gravel path in here, but not for cars, no cars. Actually, I think what I'm on here right now might have been a road allowance once upon a time. It's just got that vibe. This is an incredible opportunity where it's, 
untampered. And I'm not gonna get into any, you know, pesticides are killing this or that and the other thing. But sometimes, sometimes you have to take an area of land. And this isn't big, this is maybe, what is it, 100 acres? I'll correct it in the graphics. Woodlot leads to a cornfield. I feel like Kevin Costner in a field of dreams. So here's, here's the perspective. That's Highway 8. There are vehicles driving over there. Right behind that building there is the South Service Road for the Queenie. There's a great deal of people that want people out of cars. So why create another road when you don't really need one? That's, that's my question. Um, this would have to be protected in some sort as nature area. I don't know who owns it. I don't think the city owns it. I believe the family that originally farmed here many moons ago still own it. Imagine having a woodlot days. First weekend in November provided the snow's not down. Have nature activities, get the conservation authority here. I think it'd be pretty cool. I also think I'm getting really hungry. I don't know if that's car tracks or four wheeler tracks. I bet you it's four wheeler. This is, you know, it's not a lot of land, but it's something very, very unique. Grimsby isn't a, isn't a big town either. I think there's only like 26, 27,000 people here. Um, so having something like this in their, you know, like natural parkland, if you want to call it that. Whoa. <laughs> However, that being said, whoever legally owns the property should be allowed to do whatever they want with it, provided it does no harm to the neighbors. And if they, if they want to develop it, they have that right. And there's also the option of the people with all the Save the Woodlot signs, which, you know, I support. Like, I think this should remain a woodlot, but I don't own it. They can raise the funds to purchase it. And then have it to create a natural park and then have a committee on it and the city or someone is the caretaker of it. But what do I know? I'm just a guy with a camera. And that's your tour for the day. I don't know what else we got planned today, but uh, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna have something to eat because I'm uh, hungry. Whew. Car keys were in the wrong pocket. And uh, we'll see whatever else the day comes, brings to, to light. But if, in case I don't, you know what guys, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to watch this video. Don't forget to like this episode, comment down below, share it on your fa favorite social media, and by all means, hit the subscribe button right there. I can't thank you guys enough, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.